Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one did it. One of the things that we're trying to do here is to find a good way to measure cyber sickness. And in this case, we are trying to find ways of mitigating the sickness over time. Cyber sickness, I think, is one of the biggest remaining problems in virtual reality. It's a barrier for more than half of people who will experience VR and have to end prematurely due to symptoms like nausea, um, disorientation, headache, eye strain, sweating. You might be going to the left, actually. So cyber sickness is this experience that we think develops because of conflicting sensory signals. The visual system says, I'm moving through this virtual environment, but my body, my vestibular system, the position of my arms and legs tells me actually I'm stationary. And that conflict leads to symptoms of sickness. One of the things we're looking at is how, over time, sickness is reduced through repeated exposure um, by about 10% per exposure. One of the biggest ways we've been really able to show mitigation techniques for cyber sickness is to include more body cues in the virtual experience. If you're able to integrate more and physically move around the space, it's going to integrate a lot more of those body cues and help reduce sickness. And so it's a barrier for not just experiencing games and entertainment, but also for experiencing things that are uh, you know, educational, um, job training, um, things that will help them you know, develop their careers.